All right, one more game on our docket to talk about, then we'll get to some question and answers with you. That game is Cal State Northridge and Fresno State uh, coming up tonight in Northern California. Fresno laying 12 and a half in this one with a total of 126. Uh, Fresno State already having won the Mountain West football championship, so now they're wanting to make some strides in basketball. Matty Cox, you're going to have an official play. What do you like, sir? I do not like fading Fresno. Um, Justin Hudson and the DNA that he has this season and the years prior, but especially this year, just gritty, grimy, muck it up, defensive oriented. Um, but as a favorite, having to having to cover multiple uh, double digits, nearly two touchdowns against a team that actually has many of the same similarities. Like looking in the mirror, the Cal State Northridge, a lot of transfers, um, you know, slow, a grimy coached by a Trent Johnson. Just seems like these two teams are going to play a lower six, seven, eight point game. Um, so catching a, you know what equates to five extra bonus points of value seems like a no-brainer to me. Um, Fresno State coming off the big, sh- like shocking win at UC Irvine, a team that's been really good this season. Uh, but Northridge has been feisty all year in these spots. Uh, they, they rallied late to backdoor um, earlier in the year. They, they competed against Cal Baptist. They competed admirably against Boise State. I think this team's just better than the market has in price. Um, so I'm taking Northridge in the points. I uh, would take anything at 10 or higher. Interesting as you were laying out, Fresno lost five games in a row till they got that Irvine win. Mid-major Matt, a thought if no official play here. Um, I wish Matt good luck. Uh, you know, whenever you're betting on a team that has very extreme reds in the uh, Ken Palm offensive category, which they do, they're 357th in three-point percentage and effective field goal percentage. I mean, that's not necessarily something I look at, but he's right. I mean, you know, they've played a lot of close games this year, although that 16-point loss to Central Michigan doesn't really fit in with everything. But, like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, um, and I don't know how this game finished last night. It's like Lafayette. You know, Lafayette is not a good team, but they managed to play a lot of close games, and they were double-digit yep. dogs against Princeton yesterday. And it's because, also, there's not going to be any pace to this game whatsoever. And Northridge doesn't want to run. Fresno doesn't really want to run. So I could see it. The formula is there. I just wish I was getting a slightly better offense than um, than Northridge is, but I could see uh, the formula right there. I hear handicappers talk all the time, and obviously you're going with a, a team with a losing record on the road and taking the points, Matty. But tell me philosophically, because I've heard handicappers talk about this, they just have trouble backing bad teams or teams that are on a bad run. So w- yep. just, again, one more time, elaborate, what led you to backing Northridge team that has gotten off to a bad start this season as a road team? Yeah, I mean, bad is one way to put it. I think they've been competitive, though. Uh, I think mm-hmm. you have to parse out just outright bad and declining versus um, bad but competitive and showing signs of life and strong effort. And that's where I put this Cal State Northridge team. Um, and, and I think the opponent matters, too, right? I mean, they're going against Fresno, who, yeah, they're coming off one great win. But you know, beyond that, I think I had them as a net fade. Uh, they still don't know who they are without Orlando Robinson. They're barren inside for the last three years. So... This is a two-sided handicap. So, yes, I agree with you partially on the CSUN side, but Fresno is no juggernaut. And, again, I just think they're a terrible team as a large favorite. Some teams have that DNA. They're better as a dog, not as good as a favorite. And I think Fresno falls right in that line. All right. We will see if Marcus Shavers, or Marcus Shaver, singular, and the Matadors of Cal State Northridge will come through for you, Matty Cox. He says, take those points. Take those 12 and a half points with the Matadors on a Wednesday night. That one, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific time, if I have that correct, uh, from the Save Mart Center, where they play at Fresno State. 